Billions of dollars in federal disaster relief will soon be available to communities hit hard by hurricanes, floods, and wildfires. That is, if the U.S. Senate follows the lead of the U.S. House. Late last night, the House approved an emergency aid package of $36.5 billion to help areas ravaged by natural disasters. Now, this package includes $18.7 billion for the Federal Emergency Management Agency, $1.2 billion in disaster relief for Puerto Rico, and more than $576 million for wildfire recovery. It is the second emergency spending bill passed this fall, and it comes after a trio of hurricanes, Harvey, Irma, and Maria, swept through the Gulf of Mexico and U.S. territories in the Caribbean, and as the dangerous wildfires rage across the West. Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte talked with us about his effort to draw Washington's attention to the wildfire destruction here in Montana. I was on the floor showing a picture of Lolo, Montana, with the fires burning, and other members of Congress came up and said, I had no idea. They focused on the hurricanes. They kind of forgot about us. Even though the disaster aid passed the House, its future still in question over in the Senate. 69 Republicans opposed the bill in the House. That means it could have some problems with Senate conservatives, but the White House and Senate leaders have endorsed the bill.